Hi there, let me show you how to create 3D manipulation scenes live in Photoshop. First, we will darken an image with exposure adjustment layer. They create to nearly minus 2. Use brush tool, black in foreground color, and paint over the lens to bring back the brightness in this area. Merge this layer into one with this way. Or you can use shortcut Ctrl or Command E. Next, We'll select the inner lens to make the manipulation effect. Pick up ellipse tool, choose path type, and draw a selection to cover the area inside the lens. Freely to adjust each edges of the shape. Hit enter to complete. Right click to the shape, choose make selection, feather 5 pixels, and OK. Create a new layer. Press Save F5 to fill this selection with black. Now, take the railroad photo to our project by using Ctrl A and Ctrl C. Paste it with Ctrl V, reduce the opacity to 50% so we can see the camera behind. Then, press Ctrl T to move the railroad in the middle of the lens. Just like the railroad, goes through it. Bring back opacity to 100%. Duplicate it with Ctrl or Command J. Hold Alt and click to this icon to create black layer mask to the top layer. In layer 2, hold Ctrl and click to layer 1 to take the selection of the lens and create layer mask to it. There you go. Now you can see the railroad inside the lens. Choose layer mask on top layer. Use polygonal lasso tool and make the selection just like this. Then press Ctrl Delete to reveal the rail in front of the lens. Before that, make sure the background color is white. If not, press D to reset the foreground and background colors at default. Ctrl D to this selection. Pick up brush tool. White in foreground. Paint along the rail and the areas around the camera to bring back the detail. Make sure not to pan the camera. In case you accidentally pan on unwanted areas, press X to switch black color to foreground and pan on those areas again. Once you are done, create a color lookup adjustment layer to add color preset to the image. Drop down menu in 3D LUT file and select Crip Wong. Adjust the opacity to 40%. Next, we add color of sunset to railroad, just to create a sunset atmosphere inside the lens. Create a new layer with this icon. Choose orange color in the foreground. Use brush and add color inside the lens. On the railroad, adjust the opacity to 70%. Change blend mode to screen. It's quite bright, so I'll reduce it to 60% in opacity. Create another layer. Use brush with 20% of opacity. Now we will paint along the rail to fill it with foreground color. Create a new layer, opacity 70%. Dab right there to create a strong focus point to the viewer. Change blend mode from normal to soft light. Reduce opacity to 50%. Create another color lookup. Select full color in 3D LUT file. Choose layer. Switch orange to foreground with this icon. Click to adjustment icon and select gradient. In style, select radio. Angle 90 degrees. Scale 80%. Okay. Adjust the opacity to 30%. Create a curve adjustment layer, increase highlight a bit more than decrease shadow, just to add contrast to the image. Create a stand visible layer, which is the combination of all layers into one with Ctrl, Alt, Shift, E. The color of orange is quite strong, 
I'll decrease the intensity of it just a little. Press Ctrl U to open hue saturation adjustment. Click to hand icon to pick the color of the orange on the round row. Then adjust a saturation to minus 30. Hit OK. Head to filter, blur, to shift. The range inside the solid lines will be in focus. So expand it to cover the height of the lens. For the both dashed lines, take them out of the canvas. So the areas between the solid lines and the dashed lines will be blurred gradually. Set blur amount at 30 pixels. OK. Use burn tool, hold shortcut to darken the areas around both sides of the camera. And dot tool to brighten inside the lens. Then create another step visible layer. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, 5 pixels. OK. Use eraser tool to remove these areas because you want these places to be in focus. Create another color lookup adjustment layer and add color of film stock to the image. Erase the tool to remove the color on the camera and the railroad. Final, take this bird to make the image more lively. Ctrl T to adjust the size, move it to suitable position. In case you want to change position of some bird, use lasso tool to take the selection of those birds, then move it. Create solid color in orange. Press Ctrl Alt G to clip and match it. Change to color in blend mode. Use brush, 5% of opacity, orange in foreground, add some feather of this color around the rail. Alright, that's all for the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe buttons to learn more tips in the future. See ya!